Hello, um, welcome. I think it is time for a new vlog. Uh, it's been almost two weeks since my last video and I haven't been feeling inspired. Um, it's like getting a little bit old to just stay home, go to the park, come back home, go to the park. So I haven't been really like inspired to show you something because I don't really feel like there's anything to show in particular. But then I have to remind myself that everybody's kind of at the same spot right now. Uh, even though we reopened like phase one, uh, it still feels very much like quarantine. Um, phase two is supposed to happen on Monday. And uh, yeah, it's life is still not what it used to be, it might never be, but it's still not as busy as I wish it was. Um, so anyhow, I thought today was just an opportunity to switch on my camera, let it roll and see what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm here at my desk, I've been working for a few hours now and I am trying to stay productive, uh, even though it's Friday and it's beautiful and I actually started my day uh, with Harrison in the park as usual but this time I just brought my tea and I brought my notebook and I started sketching and it felt so good to just take the time and if you hear noise it's actually Harrison who's stretching right now and the neighbor is also cleaning his backyard so it's a little bit noisy but that's life and that's the behind the scene and uh, that's what a vlog is about nothing perfect just uh, follow along of what I do and um, yeah so I'll keep working, grab some lunch, and uh, I'll see what we do next. <clears throat> so, it is currently 2.30. Uh, I just had lunch like half an hour ago and I am so sleepy uh, I don't know why but I feel like every time I eat I could like just fall asleep or I'm actually falling asleep like my eyes are closing it's like I need a nap but I'm not five years old uh, I think I'm gonna make coffee actually that's a good call I put some uh, some coffee to ice last night so it should be ready so let's have a coffee maybe it will help that I feel super sleepy and I didn't know why and I started like by uh, changing a little bit uh, my food intake because usually I feel like there's a big source of knowing where the problem is um, so I don't really eat in the morning anymore I just have my tea uh, after I walk Harrison and so around 10 a.m. I have a tea and then I have nothing uh, until lunchtime and I feel good in the morning, I have energy. But what I've noticed is as soon as I finish lunch, like within 15 minutes after that, I feel super sleepy, my stomach hurts, and I just I just want to take a nap. But it's not like, oh, I'm tired. It's really like down. Like it's, I could like knock myself up for like <laughs> probably a few hours. Um, and I know I don't sleep enough at night, which also is the issue. But yeah, so let's see if coffee helps a little bit. Uh, yesterday I biked for 24 kilometers, so it's like a two-hour bike ride. I went through two bridges uh, from Manhattan to Queens, Long Island City, and then Brooklyn, and then back, of course. Um, but I went there for my friend's birthday, Lena, and we haven't seen each other since I think it was um, mid-February which is a very long time and it was her birthday so it was like the perfect opportunity to just go sit in the park with a few people and celebrate her and even though it was low-key and it's not 
what birthday are supposed to be. It was still very nice to see her and see other people in person. And also biking there, like I felt, I don't know, I felt good. I was kind of dreading it at first because it seems so far away. I mean, it's seven miles away, so it's not, it's further than I've been for the last three months. But yeah, it went crazy for me to think that I cannot remember the last time I set foot in Brooklyn. And I think it was before I flew to France last December. So it's not, it's like I live right next to it, but I haven't been to Brooklyn this year. And I do like Brooklyn a lot. Uh, if a lot of you have been following me for quite some time, so you probably know that, but my New York City journey started in Brooklyn. When I moved here, I found a roommate situation in Bushwick, way before Bushwick was fun. Uh, and I lived there with Lena, that's how we met. And so just to go back a little bit, and we were in Williamsburg, Greenpoint, uh, in McCarran Park, and there were a lot of people going down there to just have a picnic and be with some friends so it was kind of really nice to be around that uh, i do have this here of course with central park but it's a different feeling you know on the upper west side it's a lot of like older people and families i went to my Karen park i felt like wow that's where all the young people hang out like it felt so weird to see so many young people around me um so i kind of liked it and that made me a little bit think about what is going to be my next move and we'll talk about this in a little bit. But I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, send some emails, and then we'll go to the park. So, chin, and if you don't have a iced coffee, it's really good in the summer. Alright, uh, we are gonna go to the park. It's uh, 4 p.m. So it's been okay today. Not the most productive, but definitely got some stuff out of the way. Emails is done for today. Uh, I feel so exhausted. It should be illegal, but we're pushing it through. It's almost time to go to bed. <laughs> now, anyhow, it's 4 p.m. We're gonna go to the park. Uh, I woke up Harrison. Have you ever wondered why do dogs don't drink coffee? because they sleep 16 hours a day that's my joke anyhow so i'm gonna grab some water a magazine a blanket and uh we're heading to central park so let's go Central Park for a little bit now. Uh, it's probably been over an hour 
we've been walking around and uh, just sitting on a blanket on the grass uh, it's not too hot so it's very enjoyable there's a nice breeze going on which is easier for me because then Harrison wants to walk more and yeah so we've been just enjoying our Friday uh, it's a pretty slow Friday a lot of people are just resting it's also Juneteenth today so it's a state holiday not yet a national holiday so I feel a lot of people are out and usually that's what we do on the weekend on a Friday because the park gets more crowded uh, I usually go north instead of going south of Central Park so we have a little bit of you know room to breathe and just be by yourself a little bit even though it's been really loud um, right now I'm enjoying like that little piece of quiet uh, because helicopters are going around like all day long until late at night and then fireworks take over I mean it's been crazy these last few weeks in New York uh, but still it's very nice to have a park and it's also even nicer when it's summer and on days like this I know that is something that I been doing it's bringing a blanket and a book every time I come to Central Park in the afternoon with Harrison because he wants to stop and it's also nice to me for me to catch up on some things and um, yeah so it's like a little vacation inside the city I feel and we're having a little moment just to ourselves <laughs> even though it feels like all days to ourselves nowadays like what what is happening you know what what is life right now we don't know uh, but yeah, so I was saying earlier in the vlog, I've been thinking a lot about moving, uh, moving apartment. Uh, I've been in my apartment for the last five years. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's a very nice apartment. It's not too big. It's not too small. The light is gorgeous. Uh, but it's been a while and rent is expensive and I don't know if I want to stay on the Upper West Side uh, and so I've been thinking a lot about this lately especially because I feel like I love the Upper West Side but it's becoming a little bit too quiet even more so during a pandemic and like yesterday I went to Brooklyn and like Williamsburg and definitely more people more life so I don't know I've been thinking about moving I know for me I need to be close to the park actually not for me but for Harrison uh, because he likes to run and this is something that I could never take away from him I need to be able to walk him and he needs to be able to run every day so if we move it's most likely going to be around Central Park and I was thinking maybe Upper East Side could be nice just to change neighborhood but still have a community because a lot of my friends uh, they live around here and they have dogs and so I wouldn't you know I would be okay to stay but at the same time Brooklyn seems like a good option and uh, you know around the park would be nice and I'm also open to maybe move in with roommates um, just so we don't pay as much in rent and we can you know just afford more things because I don't you know paying that much rent is annoying but it's kind of okay when you have New York as a lively city New York during a pandemic where basically we're living as if we were in the suburbs it seems a little bit stupid to pay that much rent and um, so I don't know I don't know what's gonna be but I know that I need change and my lease is up in July so in like three weeks from now and I'm wondering what do I do do I do a month to month uh, I don't feel comfortable signing a 12 month lease because I don't know if I'm gonna be here in 12 months I don't know even don't know if I'm gonna stay in New York it's been up in the air and I don't know uh, but I wanted to talk to you about it I want to you know keep you updated on what's happening and obviously I'll keep you updated if there's a major change going on but right now it's definitely something that I'm struggling with is what is the next move like where are we going are we staying are we leaving uh, there's a lot of things up in the air for everybody at the moment but that's where we are with us Harrison and I I mean he doesn't really know that I want to move but yeah, I started putting my furniture on sale and um, I don't know, maybe it's time for a big change. Uh, five years in the same apartment, it's a long time and uh, you know, it could be good too. It could be good to like mix up the routine and change and meet new people. So that is something that I'm definitely uh, open to and I feel like I'm ready to. Um, the last few years, I just wanted to stay in my apartment. It's been 
you know chaotic and I felt like my apartment was kind of my cocoon like that's where I felt safe and I loved it but now I'm like I am ready to see something else I'm gonna end the vlog here I have no idea what it's going to look like because I had no idea when I pick up the camera this morning what I would be filming uh, this is a day in my life that's what we've been doing, like staying inside and going to the park, like that's been our every day. Uh, let me know if this is something you want to see and then I will film you more of these kind of videos. Um, I know that for me it's kind of like, I, I don't want you to be bored watching those videos and I feel it's kind of boring to film what I do in a day because I don't really do anything very interesting. But at the same time I do watch other vlogs where people do nothing and I'm still entertained by it because it's different from what I do. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more and I'll make sure to film more. Uh, let me know if you have any idea of what I should be filming and um, let me know how you are as well. And again subscribe to the channel if you want to make sure not to miss any of the other videos that are going through and uh, I'll see you on the next vlog. Ciao bye!